Hi friends, it's great to see you all again and welcome if you're new. My name is Alyssa and I'm the Berry Little Paper Crafter and today I have a layered mini flip book or mini album using only one envelope. So I'm just utilizing one of these envelopes here that measures about four and an eighth by nine and a half. So let me just show you this one that I put together. I foam taped this little love cutout on the front and then you'll just open it right up and you've got some writing space here. And I like how there's an arrow pointing this way because you have a pocket behind your second page. So I did stick a little journaling card on the inside. And just another writing space here. It says enjoy every day. And I did turn this into a little side pocket as well. So I just stuck a butterfly cutout and just another small little journaling card. And on the last pages, I just have some more writing space, or you can put a little photo on this side and write about it over here. And then on the back, I just have a little side pocket here with some journaling cards inside. And you can stick photos, more stickers, cutouts, ephemera, whatever you'd like in any of the pockets that you create in this little flip book here. And it's so easy because all you need is one envelope. So let's go ahead and jump right into the tutorial. So you just wanna grab one envelope and again, the measurements are four and an eighth by nine and a half. And you do want to seal up your envelope. So I did glue down my lid already. And then we're going to just slice off the tiniest little sliver from one of the short sides. So you can use your scissors for that or your paper trimmer. So I literally just cut this tiny little piece off. And I do that just so I get this opening here on the side. So now we're going to line our envelope up at the nine and a half inch side on our scoreboard. And you want the open part to be at the nine and a half inch mark. And then we're just going to be making a small mark at five and a quarter. So I take my little scoring tool and I don't score all the way down. I just make a little mark at the top there and at the bottom. So let me just show you close up what that looks like. So I just made a little mark here at the top and at the bottom. And you can make those marks with a pencil, but you will have to go back in and just erase any pencil marks that you do make. So that is an option that you can do as well. So we made those marks because we're basically going to be cutting from here to the mark we made at the top and at the bottom here. So open up your envelope and there's already this crease here, so just cut along that crease all the way to your little score mark that you made. And you're gonna do that on the top and the bottom. So hopefully you can see here what it's going to look like. And same thing at the bottom. Okay, so now we have this top portion and the back portion. So we're just going to take the top layer and fold it to the right and then put your envelope back at the nine and a half inch mark 
and make sure that this top flap is still flipped over and you're just going to score this now at five and three quarters. And then you can fold along that score line and you have your little layered flip book here. And then of course you have the pocket in the back here to stick something inside. So now we can decorate our little flip book or mini album. And I do wanna to mention too that you can hold it this way, like how I did with my first one that I showed you, or you can hold it this way and that would be really cute too. So you do have those options. So now we're just gonna be cutting out some paper to cover up each page of our flip book. So for this first flap here, you want to get two sheets of paper that measure three and a half by four inches. So I've got two papers here I do want to mention as well that these papers that you're going to cut out are going to be just slightly smaller than your pages. So there is going to be a little border around the edges there. Okay, so those are my two three and a half by four papers. And for the second flap here, you'll want two sheets of paper that measure four by four. So I'm going to use these two. So we have those all set. And then our last page here we're going to cut out one piece of paper that measures five by four. So I'm going to use this one here. And then for the back, you will just need one sheet of paper that measures five and a half by four. So I'm going to use this one for the back. And if you want to add a little side pocket, like how I did with this one, I just used a strip of paper that measures two inches by four inches. But you can obviously make your pocket as deep as you want it to be. Um, and I do put a little notch And I'll just glue this down on the sides in the bottom and you can put your pocket right on the side. All right, and now we can just start filling this up, decorating and embellishing. So um, I just grabbed a few of these that I might incorporate into my little flip book here. So if you have one of the bigger Project Life cards like this, these measure four by six. Um, they will fit into your little pocket on the inside, but you just have to trim off a little bit at the top or the bottom because it is just a tad bit too tall. So I think I'll just cut off a little bit of the sides like this. Perfect, now that fits. So if you have like a four by six photo, you'll just have to slice off one end a little bit or both ends. Or you can just get a piece of paper that measures maybe five by four, and that should fit nicely inside of your pocket here. And you can turn it into a journaling card or a tag or something like that. But I'm just gonna place that card in there. 
I think I'll turn this into a little pocket over here and just put a little notch at the top as well. I guess I'm kind of going with a yellow and brown kind of theme here, which are not colors that I typically work with, but I figured I would just do something a little bit different this time. So this one I'm just going to glue over here. And obviously you don't have to use Project Life cards. You can decorate and use whatever you have. These are just what I have, so I'm trying to use them up. Maybe I'll glue this down here and then you can flip it open. And then maybe this one I'll just glue here so you can flip it up to right. Okay, and then for the back, I'm just going to stick these two journaling cards that I have left over right into my side pocket there. I think I'm just going to foam tape this little butterfly on the front. And then, let's see, I might want to put this little sticker somewhere on my cover as well. And it says, stay golden, because there's sort of some gold elements in this little flip book, sort of. <laughs> so maybe I'll just... I don't know. I just put it on top of this little scrap that I had and I'll just probably glue it to the front there. And then I'm just going to stick these inside of my pocket. I've got a little postcard and then just this little cutout with some butterflies on it. And I want to stick this butterfly sticker somewhere, maybe here. I've got this other little sticker here that I'm gonna place at the bottom, like that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this little project today. Again, this is not really a style that I typically do, but it was really fun. And I think it came out really cute. And you may or may not be able to hear my daughter again, <laughs> waking up from her nap. But here we are. That's our finished little flip book slash mini album using one envelope there. And I absolutely just love the layers. I told you guys before how much I love layers. So that is it for our little mini layered flip books slash mini albums using one envelope. I also want to say that if you do follow any of my tutorials ever, I would just love to see how your creations came out. I know there are a few of you who have your own channels and I've seen your videos of your projects that you've made um, following one of my tutorials and I absolutely love them. I love seeing how your creations came out, how you put your own twist on things, and it just makes my heart so happy. I'm just like this person in her little craft room making little things 
and it just brings me so much happiness to see that you guys enjoy making the same kinds of things. So um, thank you to everybody who has shared those videos with me. If you don't have a YouTube channel, you can always snap a quick picture and send it to me on Instagram because I just love seeing everybody's creations. So yeah, that's just my little spiel. <laughs> I do hope that you will like and subscribe to my channel for more fun projects. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below as well. And I'll see you all in my next video. Happy crafting.